yeah, like, um, she just really, she just came up with this whole world in her head on who these dolls were. She, she named them. She um, just came up. It was just crazy how her imagination worked. And then, um, I, once I finished the dolls, I put them out into the world. And so I would be vending at shows, and little kids would come up and just start playing with them, like smiling, hugging them, everything. Like, so it's bigger than just sitting on a bookcase, you know. The, this is the type of things that they need, you know. Um, I remember when I was little, um, I would take like my sister's dolls and I would pretend that. I would, have you ever seen Pocahontas? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember the part when she um, jumped off the cliff into the like? Like just instantly, without a shadow of doubt. Yeah, she just jumped. I go. Uh, I'm very emotionally brave. Okay, and I don't think me jumping. You gotta prove cliff, to yourself that you're willing to do that. I'm not. Year. That's what I, I say to never. myself. See, it's like a coach. You could do it. You know, Listen, everybody does it. Uh -uh. You know. Nope. I'm gonna be the one that don't come back. Okay. So, with the dolls in particular. I did not want to use like markings that had a significance in African cultures because not that is not particular? my no okay. that is not my okay. experience. <laughs> Who am I to use those? So it's objective in the Absolutely. Okay. I wanted to come up like you said with my own interpretation of that, something that was reminiscent of that but still had my own flavor to it. So I ended up creating this logo for the dogs and I just copy, paste, copy and paste it until I had this intricate pattern. And I love patterns, you know. You can see it throughout all of my other work too. But um, I just wanted to pay my respects to those cultures while not offending or um, I don't know, like using them because that's not my experience. That that was something that I was missing, um, especially from my father. Like he just really gave me such a hard time about playing with dolls as a child. I wanted to make sure that my dolls were gender, what is it, gender fluid or non-gender. Ambiguous at least. Yeah, so that little boys and little girls can play with them without having to worry about um, harm being brought to them by whether it be like a, a friend or like a parent, anything like that. That's all I ask. Okay. That's all I ask. Okay. Yeah, so, but I I was looking at all of these different traditional black cloth dolls and I'm like, how can I um, add my twist to this? How can I bring this into the 21st century? And so that's what this process with these dolls has been, okay. is me put in my modern twist on this classic historical um, craft.